Historically speaking, I'm not much of a reader during the summer. Just something about being hot and sweaty, it's not it for me. But this is the year that I would like to turn that around. I'm a reader. You read all year long, not just when it's cold out. Just because I'm not much of a reader during the summer doesn't mean that you're not much of a reader during the summer. So I thought I would bring you some summer reading book recommendations. Let's get into it. In absolutely no particular order, there probably should be an order, but I'm not gonna give you an order. First recommendation is The Seven Year Slip. This was a five-star read for me, first of all. Let's start off with that. So I think this is a very good book. Um, but this is about an apartment that goes back in time, seven years. So you don't know when it's gonna go back in time. It just brings you back in time, like when you walk through the door. And then when you walk out the door, you go back to your time. This takes place in the summer. I believe there's like mention of like summer travels and like all of that. This is just a fun little romance to be so good reading at the beach as much as I don't like reading when I'm hot. Reading yeah, this book, do it. This next book is so cute. So cute. I love this book. This is When in Rome by Sarah Adams. This is a nice little romance. This is about a pop star who wants to get away and ends up going to Rome, Kentucky and meets a pie shop owner. It's so cute and it's so fun. And I think that romances are perfect for like reading at the beach. So cute little romance for you to read at the beach or the lake or the pool. This one's fun. Okay, so next is actually two books in one. This is, I don't know if there's like a title for this duology. Duology sounds, sounds so fancy. But these are just like two little romance novels that are related to each other. It Happened One Summer and Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. I think these are very like obvious, um, but these are just fun little romances. They are small town, small town romance. I think they're both grumpy sunshine. So for It Happened One Summer, definitely that's the first one and then read Hook, Line, and Sinker. But Piper is fashionable and influential and her reputation as a wild child means the paparazzi are constantly on her heels. So she goes a little crazy and then her stepfather decides enough is enough and he cuts her off and sends her to learn some responsibility running her late father's dive bar in Westport, Washington. Major summer vibes, summer on the coast. These were good, these were fun. Next is a little literary fiction. This one is called The Scent Keeper by Erica Bauermeister. I liked this one, this one was um, I think there's like a little romance in it. It's like a coming of age story, I'd say as well. The main character and her daughter live on a re remote island and her dad has this machine that takes scents and puts them into a bottle. I think it's a piece of paper scent thing and then you put it in a bottle to like preserve it. And that's like how she discovers the world is by scent and so she has very strong like senses. Um, and then she's thrown into the real world and has to rediscover herself and what she thought the world was. This was fun. My next recommendation is The Last Mrs. Parrish. The cover speaks for itself. Very summer vibes. They, this is also a suburban thriller by Liv Constantine, if I didn't say that. that. She actually is releasing the next book in this series called The Next Mrs. Parrish, so I'll definitely be picking that up this summer and reading that. But this focuses on Amber, who is just like fed up with her life. And so she's trying to just like be in a better position financially. So she meets Daphne Parrish and I'm pretty sure she like, like becomes friends with them somehow, not entirely sure, but ends up, she wants Daphne's life and you kind of figure out and see what she does to do that. So I definitely recommend, especially if you're in a reading slump, this one, this one will get you back. Next, I have two books here, but really I recommend Emily Henry in general, any of her books. I She's just a girl. Anyway, Emily Henry. I have only read three of her books, so her two other books are on my TBR for this summer, but I specifically recommend Funny Story and Happy Place. Happy Place is a five-star read for me. This book was so good. The cover is super summery. I don't know if the light is like blowing this out, but this book is about Harriet and Wynne who were like dating for a long time. They broke up, but they didn't tell her friends. And then their friends planned like a last hurrah 
beach vacation for the house that like is in one of the friend's families. And so they're selling the house. So they're doing like the last vacation there at this house. And they haven't told their friends that they broke up. So it's a little bit of like fake dating and also just like discovering yourself and all of that. Emily Henry's writing is very like emotional and really gets it in your feels. So yeah, this is a romance if I didn't already say that. Highly recommend this for the summer. And then if you've read that one, then pick up Funny Story. This is Emily Henry's latest release. I posted a video of me reading this. So if you want like real live reactions, um, go check that one out. This is about Daphne and Peter who have been together forever. And she just is, Daphne is very used of her life with Peter. They get engaged. And then all of a sudden he breaks off their engagement and things just develop from there. Um, this is definitely summer vibes. This is like at a lake in Michigan, I think. A little emotional, get you in your feelings, but a nice little romance. Also, Emily Henry covers are adorable, so they would look really good on your Instagram stories if you posted that you were reading them. So I love a fantasy book, but like I said, I don't like reading in the summer because it's not cozy and especially fantasy books need cozy vibes. So once fall rolls back around, your girl will be getting back on fantasy. However, I do recommend Bride. Honestly, I might reread this book during the summer because it's this was so good. This was a five-star read for me. So this is about Misery is a Vampire, Lo is a werewolf, and they basically get like set up. It's like an arranged marriage situation and they have to solve some mysteries and protect some children and um, figure out how their lives can start working together. This one is good. So if you're gonna read a fantasy during the summer, I would recommend this one. Finally, my last recommendation is another book from my era of throwing away dust jackets. And so this one is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. You've probably heard of her other books, Daisy Jones and the Six and Evelyn, The Seven Wives of Evelyn Hugo, Seven Husbands. Seven Husbands, I can't talk. Those books are good, but this book is specifically Summer Vibes. I think this is primarily a literary fiction novel with a little bit of romance sprinkled in. If you've read her books, then you kind of know the vibe. This follows the main character, Nina, who is a professional surfer, question mark. And it follows her family. It gives like a backstory of her family and how basically like everything came to be. You also find out, I'm pretty sure this is like on the back of the book, so it's not a spoil, but like her dad is a famous rock star. And so she just like goes, it goes back in time, back and forth between this big party that she's throwing that like they throw every year and back in time to like her childhood and growing up with her dad being a rock star and just like everything her mom went through. Obviously with a name like Malibu Rising, this does take place in Malibu. So it's beachy vibes for sure, summer vibes. Um, but it's a good book. There's more depth to it. Would be a fun, like, by the pool read, I'd say. These are my recommendations. These are the books that I have read that I think would be good for your summer TBR. But now, let's build my summer TBR. So now, these are the books that I want to read this summer. Okay, again, in no particular order. The first book that I want to read, I also want to mention, these are, this is like my physical TBR. The first book is The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. I keep seeing this one like come up again and again on like social media. So I'm really interested in reading this one. It says Hannah Brooks looks more like a kindergarten teacher than somebody who could kill you with a wine opener or a ballpoint pen or a dinner napkin. But the truth is she's an executive protectant agent, AKA a bodyguard. And she just got hired to protect superstar actor Jack Stapleton from his middle-aged corgi breeding stalker. I love that. I love that she's the bodyguard. Love the cover, have heard good things. This is on the list. Next up is Wild Love by Elsie Silver. I'm pretty sure that this series comes after the Chestnut Spring series by Elsie Silver, which I have not read. I'm in the middle of Flawless right now. It's actually down here, so it's on the list. Um, I'm in the middle of that, and so depending on that, how that goes, I'll probably keep reading the Chestnut Springs, but I have the first book of this series. I think this might be the only one 
out yet. I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on that. But it says, she's been driving him wild for years. The good kind of wild, the bad kind of wild. But mostly the kind of wild that comes with wanting your best friend's little sister and knowing you can't have her. That sounds fun. Okay, next, I'm realizing this is going to be a summer romance. A romance summer. But um, I want to finish the Twisted series by Anna Huang. I've read book one and two, Twisted love and twisted games so next i have twisted hate and twisted lies i am not super excited about these but i like want to read them i liked the other two so why would i not like these i don't know so if i put them on my summer tbr then hopefully i can just finish the series and be done but i mean i've heard they're good so i don't know why i can just keep putting them off so i'm gonna try to read these i'm pretty sure twisted love is about Josh. Josh is the brother of the female main character in the first book. Twisted Lies is about Christian Harper. I'm gonna like these. Like, I liked the characters. I don't know why I'm putting them off. I don't know. I'm gonna read them. This summer I'm reading them. Okay, next I want to read another Tessa Bailey. I've only read a couple of her books, but I enjoyed them all. So I want to read Fangirl Down. I think this is a newer release. Um, and I also think this is her first time like getting into a sports romance. I don't know that for certain, so don't quote me on that one. Um, but this one says, Wells Whitaker was once golf's hottest rising star, but lately all he has to show for his promising career is a killer hangover, a collection of broken clubs, and one remaining supporter. No matter how bad he plays, the beautiful sunny redhead is always on the sidelines. He curses, she cheers. He scowls, she smiles. But when Wells quits in a blaze of glory and his fangirl finally goes home, he knows he made the greatest mistake of his life. Anyway, this sounds good and fun, and I feel like this would be so perfect for a beach day, a beach trip, a lake day, a lake trip, or just a pool day. And this would be a fun little read. So I already touched on this one earlier, but this is Flawless by Elsie Silver. This is the first book in the Chestnut Spring series. Um, this is about Rhett, who is a professional bull rider, and Summer, who is his agent's daughter, who was sent to keep him on track because he was going off the rails a little bit, getting called out in the media. So she is there to help keep him on track. And... I'm like halfway done. I'm really liking it so far. It's a fun little small town romance, summer read. Count me in for a little country cowboy romance. Hell yeah. Next is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I have read Funny Story, Happy Place, and People We Meet on Vacation, but I haven't read Book Lovers or Beach Read. So I only have a physical copy of Book Lovers, so this is definitely on the TBR. And if I get through this list, then I'll go buy Beach Read. Um, and read that this summer, but I really want to read this one. I've had this on my shelf for a while too, and I keep just like procrastinating, but I like Emily Henry's writing, so I know I'm going to like this one. Actually, what's it even about? I don't know. I'm just like, Emily Henry, read it, and I don't even know. It says, one summer, two rivals, a plot twist they didn't see coming. Nora Stephan's life is, is books. She reads them all, and she is not the type of heroine. Not the plucky one, not the laid-back dream girl, and especially not the sweetheart. In fact, the only people Nora is a heroine for are her clients, for whom she lands enormous deals at a, as a cutthroat literary agent, and her beloved little sister, Libby. It looks cute. It's gonna be good, so I'm gonna read it. Next, for my thriller summer... It's not a thriller summer, it's a romance summer, and this just happens to be a thriller that I wanna read. But this is The Villa by Rachel Hawkins. Um, this is the same author who wrote The Wife Upstairs, and I really liked that novel. So here's another one. This one says, well, I guess the quote from the back. This might be fun to read the quote instead of the back, but clever and wickedly fun, The Villa is, is a moody labyrinth of a novel fortified by Hawkins' evident knowledge of gothic conventions, a spooky, intricate thriller. People Magazine said it's captivating. Do you see her? You, you trying to come onto my lap? Oh my gosh. Wow. You want to just sit? Okay, you can just relate. Just like, there we go. There we go. What do you have to say to the people? Okay, two more books. Next is The Husbands by Holly Grimazio. I don't know how to say that. Um, but this is another literary fiction. 
And this one says, when Lauren returns home to her flat in London late one night, she is greeted at the door by her husband, Michael. There's only one problem, she's not married. So that sounds fun. I'm pretty sure every time her husband goes into the attic, another one comes down. Like they just get like swapped out. So this sounds fun and magical a little bit, but to not too magic, not too fantasy. So this one is on the list. It's also a um, read with Jenna from the Today Show built-in sticker on the cover, which I hate, but sure. And finally, my one fantasy that I wanna read this summer is called Curious Tides. I haven't heard anything about this one really. I just randomly picked this one up on a Barnes and Noble trip. Um, so this one is about a student at a magical college or school, whatever, where her friends, uh, no, a group of her classmates are killed in a sea cave and she is the only survivor. And so now she is plagued with strange and possible powers that no healer should possess. So this one sounds fun. The caves, the tide, the ocean, a little summary. I'd like to read this this summer, but that's it. Those are all the books. These are my recommendations. Read one of these if you would like. And that's what I'll be reading to stay up to date on my reviews and everything I'm reading. Definitely follow me on Goodreads. It'll be linked down below. Um, and also subscribe for more updates. And I'll definitely talk about the books that I end up reading, what ones I actually read, what ones I add this summer. Yeah, ready to have a reading girl summer. Romance, reading, summer. Thanks for listening. See you later.